And welcome everybody to a new Let's Play for the uh, Tuesday slot. Um, the game is, as you can uh, quite easily see, uh, The Curious Expedition. A game by Maschinenmensch, a German studio. Uh, it's currently in Alpha state, as you can also plainly see on the screen. This is Alpha 12. It's been updated, I think, last week. Yeah, uh, it's currently Monday, so it's uh, last week on the Alpha 12 Unearthed. Uh, they're still adding stuff to it. It already has quite a lot of content, so you can really play it quite well. You can have a lot of fun with it. In fact, I did, which is why I'm just playing it now. So, um, let's dive right in. I'm going to explain as we go, so I won't show you the tutorials here. It's quite okay. There is one aspect missing in the tutorial that I will get into here. So, let's see. Uh, also, all of this might still change because it's still an alpha state. You can get it on Steam if you want, and I do recommend it, although I don't think it will be on sale anytime soon. At least the devs seem to hint that in the forums, so uh, be aware of that. I absolutely love the uh, graphics of it as, <laughs> as well. It's just this, this art style that uh, reminds me of the games I grew up with back in the uh, 90s. Now I feel old. So let's just hit new game. So, we got a bunch of people we can play as, and uh, I think one of the most... Uh, well, the one I get along best with is uh, this guy, Frederick Courtney Sellers, a uh, British explorer, officer and world famous big game hunter. All of these guys start with a different skill, which is this uh, in those uh, brackets. And they start with a different perk. You get more of those as you go along. And they start with a different loadout. So uh, Marie Curie would start with a missionary, I suppose, and a dog and a donkey. Some chocolate, some torches, uh, med kits, spare bullets. I finally understand what <laughs> understood what those are good for, and some climbing gear and so on. So each of those guys is different. Uh, some are still not yet, uh, not unlocked yet. Uh, I'm going to do that at some point, unlikely during this let's play, because let's face it, uh, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> it's very unlikely. I'll, you'll see why in a moment. Okay, so we have a bunch of more or less famous people. I'm going to start with this guy, and if you want me to play as a certain character, I will do this next time. However, let's uh, get to the game right now. So we'll start with Frederick Courtney Sellers. And we start in this uh, British Explorers Club here, <coughs> with the, uh, I suppose, the uh, chief, head, explorer, or whatever. Welcome back to the Explorers Club, old friend. Have you heard that we are building a statue to honor the expeditions of our, of our most famous member? Word is that you have a good chance of seeing your likeness on that statue. However, I'm afraid to tell you that you are not the only candidate. You and your rivals have six expeditions to prove who is the most famous explorer within our club. <coughs> okay, so we are up against those guys, which is currently kind of the same. They all gain a bit of fame during their mission, uh, during their expedition, so we'll see. Now go explore! Adventure awaits! So, we'll continue. Um, yeah, we have the map here, with everybody being there. Oh my goodness. Tesla is exploring a yellow region, so I think he will gain more fame from that. And we'll head to the endless grasslands. Uh, this is the first expedition. We can only get a grassland here, which are the easiest regions to uh, start in. A well-balanced region consisting mostly of white grasslands. Rumors talked about a golden pyramid that can be found in this region. This is pretty much all you need to know. You have grasslands which are normal terrain, so uh, you don't have to uh, uh, consider too many additional costs for that. Uh, you have a golden pyramid, which is the target of the expedition. And um, yeah, let's just start. Early that morning, I hurried to the harbor. We had some more time before the ship would be ready, so I had one last pot of tea. A missionary approached me while we waited. He had decided to leave England and begged us to take him uh, to a nearby native village in order to spread the word of God. Uh, this is our ship. Uh, this is our track. We have Sir Madden, a donkey. 
we have Bikaji Azmi, a Parsi trader. Well, they are good for I will show you. Uh, we have Henry Malekui, a cook. And we have ourselves, Frederick Courtney Sellers, yours sincerely. <coughs> uh, what the dice and the toughness are, I will show you. I will explain when we get to that. Uh, you also see the um, uh, the capacity here, those two crates are basically this. So the our inventory slots are the sum of all the capacity of our members. So we have two, four, six, two, four, six, plus three for the donkey. Each uh, track member will contribute at least some capacity. Okay, we'll accept that because there is no downside. We will get more capacity and uh, missionaries will allow you to uh, rest for free in missions. Okay, I accept it since I would gladly do my part to help spread the word of God. My heart jumped with joy as I heard that the vessel was ready to set sail. So we'll set sail to the, uh, what was it, unseen grasslands? Okay, Expedition 1. <coughs> so, this is the screen, and the missionary had pinpointed the location of the village he wanted to visit on our map. It's actually a female, so, uh, okay. Uh, now this is the interface, and as I said, I absolutely love the art style because it's so <laughs> retro. Uh, is that even a word? Okay, so here we have a depiction of our track on a lovely sunny day uh, with our mission. So, of course, I am leading the track. Uh, we have our mission and we have the negative quirks of our characters here. So, this person is claustrophobic, which might come uh, to prove disadvantages in um, a cave or any other enclosed environment. Uh, this is our cook and our trader and our donkey. Uh, this is also the screen where we level them up. This is the um, region exploration. Each region has a certain uh, set of uh, interesting locations uh, on that. Region is uh, one of those uh, map squares here. You can see there is a brown line separating them. This is one region. You see if I hover over here there is a... Uh, we have four unknown locations. Also note that those regions here, those darker ones, are basically the edge of the map. You can't go into those. Uh, this is a region point. Those are awarded if you uncover all the uh, interesting locations. And they are used for leveling up your people, which gives them more toughness, more combat dice, and um, a better trade. So, um, for example, the cook can uh, prepare meat from uh, things we kill. And this meat restores our sanity, and the better the cook is, the more sanity we get out of it. Uh, the trader will... Uh, be able to haggle, which is basically a free trade item, and the better the trader is, the more we get for free. And so on. They all have different trades, and so we'll get into that. Now this is our fame. I don't know why it's actually shown here, because it's kind of pointless there. We don't need that. Uh, this is days. It's not uh, necessarily a thing you should... I don't know. You have to find a balance between taking too long and uh, looting the map. Uh, in some later missions, you kind of have to explore the entire map because the uh, the objectives require some exploration. Okay, so here we are standing with the natives. The better it is, the more friendly they will be. If this reaches uh, certain points, they will become hostile towards us. And we can't enter their villages anymore, we can't trade with them, we can't do anything. And here we have sanity. Sanity is uh, probably the most important resource we can have, or we have. Your sanity drops each time you walk. So, uh, each mo movement costs a bit of sanity and you should try to make your movements as far as possible. Because there is a base cost and there is uh, an additional cost for the, uh, basically for the uh, path you take. If you go through more dangerous terrain, you have more uh, more sanity cost. And also, I can't go through mountains. And one more thing you need to consider is, you don't have to go right on to the uh, location. You can go on any of the adjacent hexes and you can still explore it. This is something you do need to know. And that some YouTubers don't seem to know. Okay, so we'll enter the village here. 
The villagers observed us with caution. They were kind and offered help to our cause. This will be different if we uh, drop in standing. So we'll sort out our mission, we'll deliver the missionary. We accompanied the missionary to the village chief. To reward us, he told us about the best sites to see in the region, including a holy shrine, which he marked on our map. We felt welcome here. They remained very polite and offered us more help, so we'll trade a bit. Um, there is currently a bug. The haggling item, which is uh, what you saw in the trader screen earlier, doesn't show up. So it's, it's always right off the item, so if we click on that, you see this little green bar going up. You have to basically either be in the uh, uh, perfectly equal or you have to be in the green area. If, you, if you're in the red area you can't do anything. In the green the deal is acceptable. So we're basically talking uh, our way to a free torch. And trading with the villagers always gives you one point in standing. Which is why I did that. We will lose our standing with the natives quite soon. There is that shrine they mentioned to us, and this little red area is the uh, aggro zone of a uh, of the wildlife. This is something we will also cover in quite some detail later on. For well, now, let's travel to here. Okay, there's a question mark. We will go there. I do want to explore this region because we uh, need a lot of points. Okay, I examined a strange overgrown rock statue. Its cold eyes seemed to focus on us. Its pr uh, presence felt uncomfortable and I desired to move on. I noticed some items by the statue. They must have been put there by the natives of this region. Presumably in, a, in an attempt to appease the gods. We'll examine that. I took a look, uh, look at the offerings, wondering if anything useful was among them. Oh my god, that is useful! The bongo is one of the, uh, or the drums are one of the greatest items you can get, and the mangoes aren't bad either. Okay, so we lost some standing here, but that was worth it. We took what was useful to us from the sacrificial offerings. Now, why do I like the, the drums so much is you gain 50 insanity for, uh, for playing them. However, I'm going to start with the mangoes, which restore 10 sanity. And uh, it doesn't matter how much you take. So if I took one mango, we'd have... Uh, taken those two uh, standing points. If I had taken more than that, I would have also uh, taken those two standing points, so I basically took everything I needed. Okay. Also, sometimes we have um, an additional cost for terrain. That reduces the sanity. So if I go through this while I have ropes, uh, I will lose less sanity than I would without. At least I think that's how it works. I'll also be a bit faster. Okay, we can enter this hut. Um, in a shaman hut you can um, either cure one of your uh, track members of a negative trait, or you can um, trade, which is what we'll do. There won't be anything good for us to take. That's quite interesting. I would definitely like to see that. But I can't afford it. I can't haggle for it and I don't want to trade anything else, really. Also, I don't know if the green mushrooms work as intended or not. So I'm going to leave this. I could get the treasure map. In fact, can I afford that? You can have my tenth if you want. And I want that. Okay, no, we'll not do that. Uh, we'll just cancel that and leave. So now we can level up one of those guys. What I always start with is the cook, because the way I play this particular um, character is basically a big game hunter, so I kill everything that moves and um, I cook it. That's how I gain my sanity, that's how I gain loot. Speaking of sanity, Always make sure to keep your drums uh, played. There is a small disadvantage in uh, playing the drums, that's you disturb the wildlife. So you have this little negative thing here. For 13 moves, I guess, you increase the risk of aggroing one of the uh, uh, creatures when you do that. However, I don't care because I have a gun. Uh, we'll explore the cave. 
Uh, you can do this in darkness, which is risky. You can light a torch if you have one, which we'll do. We lit a torch and descended into the darkness. We found a small cavern filled with the remains of what seemed to be a failed expedition. All the bones we found had been cracked open and, as it seemed, sucked empty. We'll investigate. We were delighted to see that one of the corpses was still clinging to valuable equipment. Yeah, five ropes. We'll take those. It's not, that, not like the expedition can use them. This is uh, our destination. Most likely this is the uh, pyramid. How I want to hit that shrine first. Okay, what do we have here? A tiger. So we'll go through the area of that tiger and then we'll go here. Travel please. I am deliberate, uh, deliberately trying to annoy that tiger because I was hoping it would attack me. We'll examine the shrine. A large building loomed in front of us. Its stone walls were covered with ornate engravings. The portal that led within emanated an eerie chill. Something stra uh, seemed strange about this place. I couldn't help myself but notice that the shadows seemed to be longer and darker than usual. Well, we'll leave, because I don't want to uh, take that event. We decided that it was better to leave the shrine untouched and hurry our departure. Yes, uh, let's hurry our departure because I really don't want to be in there. I want to annoy a tiger instead. Come on. Yeah, we aggroed it and it will attack us. No, we'll attack first. So, combat. Combat is basically dice related, so you see which uh, member of your expedition contributes which dice to the game or to the uh, fight. We'll roll and you see each dice has uh, various outcomes. So for example, this one has two uh, sides with a shield, two sides with a hand and two blank sides, which are basically useless to us. And you have to combine your dice. So this, this and that. And you can also put them back and forth. So those are the dice I want to reroll, and those are the dice I'm going to save. It's uh, working a bit like the uh, game Yahtzee. Okay, and the gun. Great. This is the outcome I wanted. This is one of the uh, best combos you can get, the deadly riposte. Go away. Uh, I'm going to remove those quickly. And all of the dice have different combos. So a quick shot is the thing we can do with the gun. There are better ones. I don't want to end my round because I still have those dice. This works as well, but as you can see, if I do this twice, so if I did this and uh, click this, I would gain 2 damage and 2 shields, whereas if I do that, I will gain 5 damage and 5 shields. Shields basically take damage away. So uh, we'll do that. And we'll end the round. Yikes. Good thing we had that shield up. So... Uh, my advice is always take the gun dice away. If it shows the gun, take it away, because you won't get any better than that. Come on. Yes, okay. So this kind of sucks, because I actually... Yeah, I can't finish this. I can do a headbutt. I wouldn't recommend headbutting a tiger, but we'll do it. Because I'm an adventurer. I'm a professional at this. Okay, so we lost some standing. Each time you kill a creature, you lose some standing with the natives. However, we gained a tiger pelt. We gained some meat, which will be removed after the expedition, so we're going to eat that. So we're going to get overcooked animal meat. If our cook was better, we would gain more. Uh, we would gain better meat, and we would gain, I think, 50 insanity from the meat. So that's uh, quite a bit. Now I could decide on either trying to take on the gorilla, but that's really dangerous. There is freaking hurt. I'll just head to the pyramid. Which seems like the more uh, reasonable idea. So we'll explore the pyramid, and that's... there we go. There was the golden pyramid, enthroned above the landscape, overcoming all the obstacles we had yet survived. So we'll enter the pyramid. After weeks of traveling, Euphoria overcame me. I knew that my name would be forever remembered. Finish expedition. So this one wasn't that good. Uh, we found a pyramid which gives us a bit of fame. We lose one fame for every day. Sometimes you discover butterflies which will give you additional fame. But this was a highly mediocre expedition. But the uh, vast majority of your 
fame actually comes from this bit. So now we get to choose a perk, which doesn't give us any fame. So we can get uh, Strong Mind, which gives us more maximum sanity. We can get Climber, which gives us uh, reduced cost when crossing hills, or we can get Waterproof. Uh, it's all kind of tempting, because I'm doing all of those, but I'm going for the maximum sanity here. Okay, you see we are doing quite poorly, but we returned home, that's uh, more important. Okay, so now I get to decide whether I want to uh, gift those things to the museum for additional fame, uh, whether I want to keep them, that's everything I brought home uh, with me, or whether I want to sell them to private collectors and uh, get money for that. So since this was the first expedition and I need money, I will sell this fur. I'm going to keep the drums because those are amazing. And I'm going to gift the tooth. Uh, I didn't enter the shrine, otherwise I would have gained a lot more fame from that. Anyway, I'm going to cut the video here and I'll return with the next expedition in the next video. So I'll see you then. Bye!